Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and it is that time once more to start our week off with some weekly painting progress. And good God, I feel like I'm on like repeat, that every week I seem to repeat the fact that I have no time to paint anything, and then I'm like, well look at how these three dozen models I've got, but no, it, I don't know, I'm, for those of you who have kids or just a hectic lifestyle in general, it feels like I'm constantly shuffling one kid from one place to the next and they're like almost at that age where I really shouldn't have to do that anymore but here we are so uh yeah I mean like most days I don't feel like I actually get to like sit down and do anything until like 7 38 o'clock because I'm having to go back and forth some days making as many as four trips back and forth um which I mean admittedly they don't live that far from the school but it is time consuming so yeah, we still try to get things done. And believe it or not, we got something from Mr. Percival Sparkle Trout. He went ahead and started working on some of his GW squat guys. Very industrial style paint scheme. Let's see if I can actually zoom it in a little bit better. Details come out super nice when he does these things. We've argued long and hard about that. I'll have to double check with him what inks and washes he's using. I know he said he wasn't using any GW ones anymore. So I kind of went with the theme of dwarf stuff too. and uh, Mine doesn't look as good, admittedly, but I still painted it. So that's got to count for something, right? I know I've shown you guys before. I, I've been going with this weird turquoise theme for my dwarf stuff. It's not the best print job or paint job. And I want to say this is a gomic one. Kind of mecha-like, actually. I don't know if it's even supposed to be robot. See, I, I wasn't happy with... You can see those print lines all over it in some sections. It's funny that between all of the various sculptors and publishers, I've got just so many different varieties of sci-fi dwarves these days, which is kind of cool. I mean, you know, to each their own, the aesthetic is similar but entirely different. So I do appreciate that. I know I have like one of my other... Smaller gomic guys, and somewhere I should have a bigger one too, but I don't know where I put them now. I'll find them some other time and post some photos of them. Uh, but then I ended up painting a bunch of the One Page Rules Space Dwarf Guild guys. Didn't do the best job on his face. I swear this guy reminds me so much, and I think if I really just kept going with the scheme, it would be like the perfect Caradron Overlord. This is like... I think with very, very minimal re-sculpting or changing of features of the model, these guys would make some great steampunk flying dwarves. I really do feel that way. So that one I went more in a gold bronzy standard. And then I went ahead and did a very plain, basic, just grays, no silvers or anything, really. Ew, what happened there? I'm going to have to fix that. Blech. Look at my poor support removal down there. Of course, these are super duper zoomed in, like three times the regular magnification. So, you know, I think to the plain eye, they're not going to look too bad. I'm not happy with the visor and the eye color on this guy with the helmet, but they're nice little models. And I mean, you know, size-wise, they're roughly near the actual GW guys. I'm grabbing the Gomic one again for a sec. Kind of somewhat in scale, whereas these are a bit more robotic. We're going to have to grab some of those uh, cackerels, show those off as well. I should be printing some of those. Oh, in fact, I do have... The one sparkle trout printed up. I think I'm gonna bump these ladies up. 
in size just a little bit though so that they're closer in scale yeah they're not supposed to be but I think they'd look better in scale with all the other models of this stature okay what else have we got oh I also did one of the OPR heavy infantry or support guys or both whatever they are probably need to retouch those lights and I was going to do something else with the weapon and the view screen's kind of boring. I'm still not sure why this guy's carrying the little crystals. I want to say they have like some kind of gun that has like all the crystals jammed in it and I need to fix the tips of those rockets in the missile launcher but otherwise it's not a bad little figure. Now these ones they do have with both the kind of welding masks open and closed and you can see they are a bit larger Gomex guys are about the same size but different style different proportions I kind of like these as more of like a robot idea maybe I'll use those for gamma wolves because we keep talking about playing it might have to do that and then just because we have dwarves in other sizes, space dwarves at that, I painted one of the KMFP mini robots and some Phoenix Guard somewhere to fight them. The Phoenix Guard needed some support, so we got a big smashy dread. I had a ton of these leftover Warlord, Frostgrave style flat bases from some project. They work pretty nice with the Epic stuff. They're pretty similarly scaled. So we can have... I've, I've just been putting together bases and bases of these things at this point. So hopefully we're going to get some use out of them. I do have some of the Space Dwarf Infantry. We'll have to print some of those guys up. It's just so, I don't know, time consuming having to play with removing all the supports and trying to paint all the details on these things. And then a random long range one. Again, very sloppy, very quick paint job. I'm not too proud of it, but from a distance at least, I, I think it looks all right. It's going to get the job done. Again, this is not the most ideal lighting, considering it's very late at night when I'm filming this, because obviously we have more important things to do during the day. But those got painted regardless. We seem to be on a bit of a limited color scheme. I was using all the turquoise up. We have uh, Gatling Gun Man here from Papsicle's Cyber... F what was it? The Cyber Frontier? I don't remember what... Cyber Saga? Whatever his last crowdfunding campaign was, but this guy's available through the regular channels now. We got Gatling Gun Man. We got Tree Cutting Man. Somewhere I have a Scimitar Man. I don't know where I put him. That's the problem. My, my table at the moment is just absolutely cluttered because I have had no time to put any of this stuff away and try to organize it. And I'm like, I want to get rid of a bunch of things too. And I'm like, I don't even know where to get rid of those. I would love to help some of this stuff find a good home. Speaking of finding a good home, <laughs> I keep painting and printing these Pokemon from Erkman's. I'm not even a Pokemon fan, but I just, I can't help myself. I like Digimon. Ooh, and speaking of Digimon, I just finally got a hold of the Shine Greymon model kit. Not that I finished painting, they have a nice one from uh, Erkman, too, if you want to shine, shine Greymon for a significant fraction of the price. You guys want to check that out. And I guess Eevee can accompany yet another Kingdom Death model. I, I don't even know who this is anymore. It was a Summer something. Summer Lucy, maybe? I'm not happy with it. I like the color I got for the skirt, but there's no depth anymore. Maybe just the lights washing it out for the body, and I need to touch up the neck. So I think we'll, we'll go back and play around with that. And I've got, like, some skin shade from Vallejo. Maybe I should use that. 
rather than just leave it on the table there to stare at. I don't know. She was kind of a boring model. I'm, I'm trying to... Maybe I assumed I would do a better job of painting her? I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking with this one. And yet I still have Gunborg or Gumbjorg or whatever her name is. I don't think I've shown her yet, have I? Let me find her. I know I saw her the other day. There she is. I've got like a little container of Kingdom Death models that I'm not sure what I've done with or if they've been filmed yet, so... Yeah. <laughs> like I said, if I've shown her, by all means, let me know. And if I haven't, I will gladly... Does, does she look familiar? Have I talked about this model yet? I don't even know. Let me know in the comments. I've got a bunch of them laying around, like our, our pole man and the Forsaker and a couple others laying around here. I don't know what I've shown and what I haven't anymore. All right. Another GW model, one of the Jotun Ogren from Necromunda. Again, not the best paint job. I don't know what I was doing with that yellow there, and I don't really like it. it looks like he's got like a piece of cheese stuck to him. He just doesn't know how to get it off with those big, ungainly hands of his. So maybe I'll do something there with it? I don't know. It's sad that the Ogren is almost the same size as a Kingdom Death Girl. <laughs> That's kind of sad. My favorite model of the week is my AKB48 style combat made because that's something that I needed on the tabletop, right? That's like super washed out, but I don't care. Do you have teams of combat maids that do synchronized dances together fighting off the apocalypse? Because I will, because I can guarantee when we get around to playing the Doomed, it's going to be, you know... Schoolgirls in maid outfits with semi-automatic weapons fighting happy-faced tentacle monstrosities. It, it's like something right out of my animes! Oh, and I also painted another Papsicles. Zoonoid grunt. Oh, and there's a tank, too. Beep, beep. I painted one of uh, KMFP's tanks. Not that it's anywhere near the correct time period that... Uh, Phoenix Guard would have been using something like this, but I don't care. They need more stuff. I'm a little slow. I'm mumbling to myself. While I've been busy printing OPR Space Dwarves, I actually went ahead and also got their transport. I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger. I don't know why. It's a nice solid piece and I actually it got totally messed up. You can see there's this big gash on it there and surprisingly everything still printed out all right and it worked out okay. But man it's going to be a pain in the butt having to paint all that filigree on it and I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with it yet. But in case anybody's curious about it since we're already talking about one page rule stuff anyways I did like the fact that there was both a male and female gunner there that you, basically it's kind of cool you have the actual gunner whatever gender and then the hands and the armament are actually totally separate so i guess if you wanted and it like slots in right there underneath the belly if you wanted to stick some magnets on the arm section that'd work out great you can stick a magnet in there plop plop that on take it off you want them out plop of course, I think I have that backwards. I did. Or maybe it's just because of the print error that uh, I didn't want to print out right. But it's a nice little thing. I think I got the wheels all done right, so you can see more of the gashes and mistakes down there, but that's okay. It plows everybody out of the way. So yeah, nice little haul of stuff getting done. It's funny too, because I have been really having a hard time finding the motivation to paint some of this stuff. You didn't get painted this week, and I don't know why. I like painting models. I think part of it is I've just been on like a major plastic model kit bender as of late. 
I've been trying to fight my backlog. And let me tell you, if you've seen some of those Chinese kits I've shown off before, those things take up space, man. Like, seriously, they take up space. And I've been trying to start working my way through those. And let me tell you, it's, it's a long and arduous process at times, having to build all these models. But it's actually kind of cool. So this week is parent conference week. And I always kind of set my schedule so that I have a pile of them at the beginning of the week. And then as the week goes, nothing. So I'm hoping beyond hope that due to my wonderful planning, I will be able to sit and build stuff all week long. And that's my plan. So, um, I don't know. I'll put some pictures on discord or something if you guys have any preferences if you want to see any of this stuff built if you don't care it might even I mean some people do um let me know in the comments as always and as always besides that we'll have links to all that stuff if you're interested as well as to our patreon where if you want to help support the channel it is always appreciated and this is like the only time I ever like to mention that I'm not super into that but anyway I'm doing it because my wife told me to <laughs> anyway, with that said then, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.